Glass reinforced plastic, that is GRP, is a strong, light material that is used for a wide range of products, including yachts, aircraft, storage vessels, oil coverings and vehicles of all types. Unlike most other materials, the production of GRP is part of the product manufacturing process. Glass reinforced plastic products are nearly always made using moulds. A mould is used so that lots of identical products may be made. First, a wooden pattern is made. This wooden pattern will be used to make a GRP mould. The sides of the wooden pattern are angled to allow the GRP mould to be removed from the pattern easily. The GRP mould can be used to make lots of identical GRP products. So, to make the mould from the wooden pattern. The wooden pattern is smoothed with glass paper to remove any defects and is sealed and waxed to prevent the fibreglass resin from sticking to it. An alcohol-based release agent is painted all over the waxed mould. Fibreglass mat is laid over the mould and polyester resin is stippled into it. The resin cures, forming a stiff glass fibre skin over the pattern. Wooden stiffeners may be added to strengthen the mould. The stiffeners are covered in fibreglass which bonds them to the mould. When the mould is fully cured, the pattern is removed. The mould is checked for defects and if necessary, it is repaired. Finally, the mould is cleaned and polished. A liquid release agent made from polyvinyl alcohol is then brushed, sponged or sprayed all over the inside of the mould and allowed to dry. Resin, pigment, catalyst and hardener are mixed in the correct quantities for the gel coat. A thin even layer of gel coat is spread all over the inside of the mould. The gel coat is left until it has cured and hardened. Once the gel coat is cured, strand glass fibre mat is laid all over the inside of the mould. Next, a measured quantity of resin, catalyst and hardener is mixed and the mixture is stippled into the glass fibre mat. A roller is used to ensure that the resin is spread evenly all over the mould. After rolling, the glass reinforced composite is left to cure and harden. Once the first GRP layer has cured and hardened, further layers may be added, leaving the GRP to cure and harden before each new layer is added. Before the GRP has fully cured, excess material should be carefully trimmed off with a very sharp knife. The GRP product is left to fully cure for a few days. When the GRP has cured, it may be knocked out of the mould. The product is then ready to use. Finally, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful.